Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a lion. So let's do it. Before we get into that, I'd love to give a huge shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with more than 25,000 classes in design and business and more. At under $10 a month, it's insanely affordable and with a premium membership, you can get unlimited classes so you can join classes and communities that are just right for you whenever you want, however many you want. So whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity, or even career, Skillshare is the perfect place for you to keep learning. I'm checking out Sophia Chang's course on building a digital brand, and so far it's been amazing. And looking around, there are thousands of classes for pretty much anyone to learn anything. So if you want to check it out, use the link in the description below, and the first 500 of you to sign up will get a two-month free trial. Okay, so to start, I'm just gonna go through my materials. I have my Arches watercolor paper, my Windsor Newton Cotman watercolors, uh, my Princeton snap brushes. I have a size 10 and a size six with me, a pencil and water and paper towel. I'm ready to start. Okay, so I'll show you my reference photo. I tried to put the photo in the last painting um, just by the side of my painting and it was just really difficult to work around and keep in frame, so I'm not gonna do that this time, but I'll just show you the photo I got off Pinterest. Beautiful lion, my favorite animal. And I'm gonna try my best to draw it. I already made a few points beforehand, so you don't watch me erase and draw and erase and draw, because it takes me a while to get this down. Um, but I came up with the where I want the eyes and the nose and all that stuff to be, so I can just work from there, and I'll try my best to explain. All right. So usually I always start with the shape of the face. Um, no, it's always the top, that's just how I do it. Um, probably people who actually are really good at drawing animals do it differently, but this is how I do it. So it's kind of like a little V at the top. And then a yeah, big curve around. And it goes out to where the eyes are gonna be. Kind of like a big brow bone almost. And then it goes in here and then you have the nose area it's kind of like an upside down heart except that you're not going to really go to a point think of an upside down heart and then the nose comes up here i'm just going to do flat and it comes up on either side goes in and goes down like this Yeah, I feel like this is a bit too curved. I'm just gonna shape it up a bit. Guys, I got a proper eraser. <laughs> Finally. And it works wonders. Just so the lines aren't that dark. It's okay by the nose because we'll be dark anyway. like it looks too much like a heart all right that's good and then there's like a where his mouth is and then furry bottom jaw mouth line cute okay and then the, there's like the center line down the middle okay now the eyes kind of like a triangle almost, I think, but not as pointy, obviously. And then a curve. I feel like this eye is over too much. Hold on. Wow. All right. I think it's important too, to look at your photo from a, or your painting from a different angle too, you'll notice when things are off or not correctly balanced. Balanced. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do the outer bit of where I want this mane to be. And we'll save the real detail for the painting. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna erase some of these lines so it's not as dark. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. <laughs> I'm 
so good at this. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the lightest part of the face, any kind of highlights, because what I like to do first, if you've seen my other um, animal tutorials, I usually paint the whole thing, the lightest wash, the highlight, and then I will drop in some color and do a bunch of wet on wet just to get the first layer down. And then I go back in to do the top layers of detail. So looking at this photograph, I noticed the lightest part of this picture is down here by the mouth. It's almost white. We can add, if it's white, white, we can add that white paint after. Um, but I will leave that the lightest, so I'm not going to put dark paint there. So I'm probably going to do a really light kind of yellowish brown all over and then start plotting in the darker areas. So I already have some brownish orange kind of mixed here from my draft last time. I might actually take a bit more orange. Actually, I'm going to take some yellow to mix with this brown. And yes, I dipped it back in there. I'm not too crazy about colors mixing necessarily because you can just kind of wash it off with your brush with clean water after. That's not clean. See, you just mop it up and it's yellow again. Okay, so I'm not too particular about that if you see me do that. But good practice is probably not to. Okay, so I'm just gonna cover this whole lion, maybe not the nose. Um, it's okay if you do, but maybe not the nose, maybe not the eyes, because there's no point. Those will just be black after, but it's okay. You can always go over, go over them with black. Now I'm using a bigger brush than I did with the giraffe tutorial because I'm covering more wet area and I want to do it faster so it doesn't dry. The giraffe's head was a bit smaller, so I didn't need to use as much water. That's kind of how I judge what size brush to use is how much area do I need to cover in a certain amount of time if I'm doing especially wet on wet and I don't want it to dry, okay? Because if I use a small brush, it's gonna take me a while and then by the time I finish, parts of this thing is already gonna be dry and I don't want that to happen. Okay, I probably should have left that a bit more white. Hold on, I'm just gonna Dab up some of this color on the chin here. Get it fixed. There we go. <laughs> okay. What is that? Okay. All right. Now I am going to start dropping in my color. So there's a bunch of browns in this guy. Oranges. He's like basically the color of an orange sunset and is gorgeous. So I'm going to do this color first. And a lot of this orange is up in his mane, kind of just around his face. And just go from the lightest to darkest. So the lightest wash was first, then I'm going to drop in some darker color and darker and darker, right? Because you can't go over a dark color with light paint. You can only go over light paint with dark. So just think like that. So I'm not touching this area that's white. Okay, I'm gonna put some like straight orange up in here because there's some bright orange on this guy, especially on the mane. That takes some of my brown. Go right down the middle. And just kind of start putting some brown around the face. Remember, it's gonna look a little odd at this stage when you're just dropping in the color because it's all blending together and looking weird and you're like, why does it not look like a lion? It will, this is just the first layer, okay? Just kind of looking at where shadows may be Okay, but just making sure this is also still wet because if it's not, you are going to get funky lines, layers on top. You're not going to get those nice blends. Let's go more orange, y'all. This is cute. <laughs> okay, 
Also, side note, never painted a line before. This will be interesting. I'm being extra weird today. I apologize in advance. Okay, so parts that I notice um, that are lighter on this lion's face, right here around the mouth, obviously the chin, right underneath that eye, which I probably should have left a lighter bit. That's okay. I can go back in with white if I need to, or darker if I need to. Okay, now I'm gonna get some of the darker bits. I'm gonna add some black and brown together. Okay. I drop those in kind of around the face a bit. There's an ear here that you don't really see. Guys, I know this looks crazy. I'm kind of doubting my own skills right now. <laughs> What am I doing? Okay. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. Okay. Okay, this is just the first layer. Okay. Now, we are going to let this first layer dry. Okay? And then we will get onto the detail. Okay, so my first layer is all dry. Now I am going to take my smaller brush, and I'm going to start with the detail. So... Because that's dry, any kind of color that you use over top of this will be darker. So you don't need to go too, too dark for the detail. But I'm kind of just gonna go over where I drew my lines. So I'm gonna just go back over that. I feel like I should have left a bit of a darker um, sketch underneath. Because I can't really see. I'm just gonna try and outline that face. Make sure it's the shape I want it to be. Okay. Like that. There's an ear here. There's an ear there. Step back. Just kind of and then once you feel like you've got the general shape, you can start layering in some darker color. So I'm just gonna look at where there are some darker bits. I'm gonna leave that white space underneath the eye. And just start layering in darker bits. Just very roughly. I can be more orange in here. Maybe some yellow. looking at your photo, seeing where those dark parts are. And then blending it out. Sometimes I'll just take my paintbrush with some water and just blend it out just Stretching out that color. Okay. And there's some darker shadows behind the face. And I'm going to start using my bigger brush for this. <clears throat> getting a 
need some darker bits. Just being very loose with it, honestly. Just kind of go for it. You can create individual like fur hairs if you feel like it. Or you can do them in chunks kind of like I'm doing. Some orange in there. So I'm just laying down some color and then I like blend it out with just a wet clean brush. Okay, clean it off. Just kind of move it around. Throw in some dark shadows around the face here. On either side of the mouth. Some black at the edges. <clears throat> Dark around some parts of the eyes. I'm gonna go back over where those ears are again. Just gonna sharpen out this bit. I'm sorry if you can't hear me and I keep trying I'm trailing off my bad. I'm just realizing I'm doing that. I'm trying my best guys. <laughs> okay. So now I'm just gonna take my brush and do some here it's black where this mouth is. Okay. And then the nose too, except there's some pink in it too, so I will get some pink. Just doing the black first. What did I do? Okay, I'm having a hard time here. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Lifted up the color because I didn't like the way it looked. Okay, let's try that again. I'm using a smaller brush. There we go, I have more control with this one. There we go. There. That's what I wanted. Okay. And then I'm going to create some dots. And some parts have already dried, so I'm just going back over and creating some detailed hair. Okay, or especially around the face. Okay. 
Just small strokes using very light pressure. Like that. I'm now gonna go in for the eyes. And the eyes are light brown inside, so I'm just gonna do the outline. Go up. And then kind of come down. I'm just gonna create that eyeball. Where the eye is going. Started to bleed a little bit. Now, <clears throat> my dinner's here, and my dog is barking. There we go. Like that. Now that black part dries, I'm just gonna go in here and do the pink nose. I already have some like pinky red mixed up here, so I'm just gonna use that. Like that. And I'm gonna go back in for the eyes with this brown. London there. <clears throat> and then just doing that detail on the black again. where the ears are. If you, I'm gonna wait for that to dry to the pupil and like the white part, but if you feel like it, um, while you're waiting for that to dry, you can do some hair strokes, the mane. And also if you wanted to add a body here, like just going down, by all means, so it's not just a lion head, you can totally do that too. Um, and then I'm just gonna take my white ink the white ink I'm using is Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White. I'm going to create a little bit of a shine on the eye there and there. Oops, I'll probably wait for that to dry, my bad. <laughs> and then I'm going to use this ink also for the white down here on the chin and a bit here and then some whiskers. And if you'd like to use that for any other highlight too, you know, by all means, I'm just gonna blend that in a little bit. And then hopefully your eye is dry to add that pupil like that. And there you go. There is your lion head. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more. Have a great day guys. Bye.